Hey, it's Paul with Marshall Flex. Today we're gonna to be working on hip mobility, specifically in the rotation of the hips. We're gonna be working that external rotation and that internal rotation. And we're gonna be borrowing from the Indonesian martial arts of Salat. So we're gonna go ahead and sit in this uh, sawa position. That's what it's called. Sometimes you might hear this referred to as the 90-90, but as martial artists here, uh, we borrow from the martial arts terminology, and in Salat, this seated position is called Sawa. It's an offensive striking position, <laughs> but it's really great for training our hip mobility. You're gonna see that my left leg is in external rotation right now, and my right leg is at internal rotation right now. Now, if you're just learning this move, if this is brand new to you, go ahead and place your hands on the ground just behind you. Keep your elbows somewhat close to your ribs, and we're gonna rotate from side to side. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my right leg going into external rotation, followed by my left leg going into internal rotation. And then we're going to just reverse that motion. Now we're not just gonna nonchalantly windshield wiper our legs, because as you can see, I'm getting closer and closer to the camera. My hips are inching forward. Not the end of the world, but we really wanna isolate the uh, control of our hips. So from here, as we go into that rotation, I want you to think about pulling your hip back. Pull that right hip back, and then just let the left leg follow, okay? Now, same thing on this side. We're going to actively bring this left hip back as we're rotating, and then let the right side follow. Right, so make sure you're active with that and then you'll find that you're not inching forward, or at least you're not inching as much, and the more you practice that, the more hip control you're gonna have. Okay? And just kinda take your time with it, get some reps in. Just working that rotation. If you can, you know, just try to crank it down, try to get those knees as close to the ground with both your butt cheeks on the ground as best as possible. So if you find that you're kinda like this, that's okay, just you know, crank it down just a little bit, as far as you can, and just work out to your ability. Daily practice, you'll get more and more mobility gains in your hip rotations. Now, once you have the coordination of this to challenge it, let's go ahead and remove the support of our hands and just use our bodies right here. Let the hands do, for now, whatever they're gonna do to kind of counterweight your balance, usually keeping them out in front of you is the best way to do that, okay? Again, you wanna work on trying to keep this hip back as you are moving into external rotation with that leg. And one more right there. Now we do have another switch that I wanna give you and this is gonna work a little bit more of that strength conditioning in your hips. We're going to not use our hands. We're going to extend our feet forward and then pull them back, okay? So the kind of beginner version of this is just let your feet glide on the ground. So now we're using more strength in our hips to get that rotation. Okay? And then a more advanced version of that is pick your feet up off the ground so now you don't have any assistance from the ground. A little bit of core activation, but you're putting a little bit more into the reliance of the hips. And we're still getting that rotation right there. So we're strengthening our hips in this motion. That's it, and coming back right there. And the last one I want you to do is we're gonna rotate between those two switches. So let's go into our first switch here and then we're gonna pull ourselves up into this full hip extension right here. And then rotate to the other side. Same thing, pull all the way up. So now I'm on my knees, my feet are on the ground, and we're gonna get this hip extension right here. And then we can switch it out to our other switch and rotate this up. If you need a little bit of support or assistance in getting up, I want you to imagine that you're grabbing onto something and you're gonna pull yourself up 
just like that with your hands. You can go into that old classical, traditional martial arts position, or you can practice your punches here, your traditional blocks, all that cool stuff, and then switch it out. And then grab onto something imaginary, grab it and pull yourself up for that assistance. And then when you can, take the assistance out. And you can gradually pick up the speed as you come up. If you want, you can open up the chest as well. Squeeze your back muscles, get your shoulder blades together. And as you're getting more mobile, you'll find you can gradually pick up the speed, but keep the movement smooth. So try these out. Let me know in the comments, how does your body feel? Which hip is tighter than the other? Which one is looser? Like today, I can feel that my left hip is a little bit tighter than my right hip. And after doing these movements from Salat for a couple of days, come back and let me know how is it feeling? What kind of improvements are you making in your hip rotations? Make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you'd like, which I would very much appreciate, head over to the site over at marshallflex.com. Got the link down below and check out our t-shirts. You can order one today and uh, I really appreciate the support to Marshall Flex. It really helps keep the channel going and keep giving you more videos and more content that helps you become a better martial artist and a better overall athlete. I'll see you guys back here next time.